Hello, I'm Gabriel Beavers, bassoonist with the Palm Beach Symphony. Today, I'm going to briefly discuss some of the intonation tendencies of the bassoon and give you some strategies on how to cope with some of the difficult registers. The lowest fifth of the bassoon from low B flat to F just below the bass class staff is our sharpest register. And that register, I teach my students to say the word ah and drop their jaw and use hot air but with ample tension at the corners to keep air from leaking, we hope. The moment you cross from that low F to the G, and this is different on different people's instruments, whether the pivot note is from F to G or G to A, the bassoon should become relatively easier to play in tune without a lot of extra effort. So I no longer have to think ah or uh or be really open. I hopefully can just simply be relaxed. And right there at that G, the half hole G on top of the bass clef staff is where my bassoon tends towards flat. Many modern bassoons become flatter and flatter from there to the tenor F. And depending on redesign vocals and personal read preference, etc., you can mitigate that to some degree with equipment. But in general, it's the way bassoons are designed. So rather than worry about it too much, you could instead employ a strategy of changing the vowel. I like to say the word E or form the vowel E while I play those notes. I don't actually say them. So right around G, I begin to raise the rear of the tongue to say E and blow fast, cool air. <laughs> helps me tame that register. Right around that F, the next half step up, the F sharp, and then the G, the highest G on our bassoon, or the highest G that's in normal practice, the bassoon comes quite sharp again. And I once again return to saying ah. The thing that might be different though, is unlike the low register where I'm really relaxed in my face, I do have a much firmer grip on the reed without excessively closing it. But I have to be able to firm up a little bit to get a secure response in that register. But then by saying, ah, I managed to overcome the sharp tendency of that register. It also helps the sound to be a little clearer and a little more singing. The thing that can become especially difficult on the bassoon is, as you heard me play, I was going through scales, but we often are called on to make large leaps on the bassoon. So using that same B-flat scale, if I want to play all the B-flats in tune, I've got to use a slightly different vowel. The low B-flat, I'm going to try to say ah. The B-flat, just above the bass clef staff, I'm going to try to say nothing. I'm just going to just relax and not think too much about it. The next B flat, the one that's just above the bass clef staff, um, I'm going to hold down the speaker key here, the B, C speaker key, or some people call them the flick keys. That's going to help raise the pitch, and I'm going to say the word E while blowing cool air. And then the highest B flat on the bassoon, I'm going to once again say ah, but I'm going to instead use a firm embouchure. That's relatively easy because that's slow. We as bassoonists are called upon to play passages really quickly. And with lots of practice with the tuner, as you see me here, you can learn to quickly um, switch between these vowels, even alongside all the complex fingerings we have, and greatly improve 
your ability to center notes in tune um, and also develop a flexibility that you can use when playing with others. I look forward to playing for you again in a concert hall soon. <laughs>